Spencer Steels. Annie and Clarabelle had been Thomas's coaches for a very long time. Ever since Thomas saved James after he crashed in the field, Sir Tom Hatt gave him his branch line and Annie and Clarabelle. Annie and Clarabelle used to be James's coaches, but not anymore. They became Thomas's ever since he got his branch line. Thomas loved Annie and Clarabelle very much. Sometimes Annie and Clarabelle complains, especially when Thomas is cheeky. But they love Thomas, and Thomas loves him, them. Sometimes when Thomas is not working on his branch line, one of his friends, like Percy and Toby, pull Annie and Clarabelle for him. Thomas doesn't mind when he's not working on his branch line sometimes. But he loves Annie and Clarabelle very much. Because they belong to him. Summer had ended on the island of Sodor. And a fall chill was in the air. Every night and day. All the engines were working very hard to prepare for the fall and winter. They were mostly preparing for Halloween. Next month. One day, Thomas was shunting Annie and Clarabelle into Nafford Yards. He had two jobs to do today. He first had to take some stone cars to the docks and come back and get Annie and Clarabelle for a passenger train. So while Thomas was pulling the stone cars to the docks, Annie and Clarabelle can stay in the yard and take a break. Have a little snooze. Okay, Annie and Clarabelle. Now you two stay here in Nafford Yards while I take the stone cars to the docks. Oh, Thomas, we're not going anywhere. Annie's right. We love you very much, Thomas. We would never leave you. Thomas never forgot that time when Caitlin, the streamline engine, accidentally took Annie and Clarabelle to the mainland, and luckily Hero stopped her. Thomas was about to pop off, to the quarry when Spencer came into the yard. He was in a bad mood. He had been Shunting and pulling goods trains all every day 24 7. And he hadn't pulled coaches in a while because his got old and were, got scrapped. And he was getting tired of pulling and shunting goods trains.
Thomas saw Spencer and decided to say hi to him before he went to the quarry, since he had a lot of time. Hi, Spencer. Well done on your work. Spencer was surprised. He didn't know... He was surprised how nice Thomas was being to him, that he was in a good mood. Uh, what did you say, Thomas? I said, hello and well done. This made Spencer even more cross. Well done, Thomas. I pulled goods trains all day. Every day, in fact, 24-7. I'm getting tired of and sick of pulling and shunting goods trains. Well, Spencer, I can't help with that. Sir Tom has the controller of the railway, and he always reminds us little engines have to do as they're told. And Thomas was right. Spencer did know that Really useful engines have to do the jobs they don't like. Well, that's easy for you to say, Thomas. I mean, whenever I see you, I see you working on your branch line and sometimes not working on your branch line. And here you are, not working on your branch line. Isn't it true that you have to take some stone cars to the docks? Uh, yes, Spencer, but, well, your baby coaches, Annie and Clarabelle, are just going to sit here and do nothing? Well, I think they're lazy. This made Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle cross. Spencer, Annie and Clarabelle aren't lazy, and they're not babies. They're not my baby coaches. I've had them ever since I... I helped James after he crashed in that field years ago. How dare you, Spencer? How dare you call us baby coaches? We're not baby coaches. Oh, yes, you are baby coaches. A lot. Didn't you once had a baby on board? Thomas didn't like to be reminded the time Annie and Clarabelle and himself had to take care of a crying baby. Uh, yes. But just because I once had a baby on board doesn't mean you should call Annie and Clarabelle baby coaches. And it's not just babies that travel in them. Passengers and other children travel in Annie and Clarabelle too, Spencer. Whatever, Thomas. Annie and Clarabelle are still baby coaches. Thomas did not want to take any more of Spencer's abuse. No one calls Annie and Clarabelle baby, Spencer. I'm going to tell Sir Top and Hat after this. And you need to remember that really useful engines have to do as they're told. And do the job they don't like. I have coaches, Toby still has his coach, Emily has her coaches, and everyone shares red coaches. I'm sure Sir Totten Hat will get you your own coaches again, Spencer. You just have to wait. Even Gordon has his own coaches. Now, I'm not going to take any more of your abuse, Spencer. I'm going to go to the quarry and deliver my stone cars to the docks. Now, you do not touch Annie and Clarabelle while I'm gone. I just took them to the washdown earlier today. This made Spencer even more cross. He didn't even listen to Thomas. And Thomas puffed away to the quarry. And Annie and Clarabelle went to sleep. 
Uh, we have lots of time before Thomas comes back, Clarabelle. We might as well take a nap. Agree, Annie. Don't bother us while we're sleeping, Spencer. And Annie and Clarabelle were sleeping like babies. But Spencer wasn't listening to Annie and Clarabelle. He was cross of what Thomas said. Hmm. Thomas thinks that really useful engines do as they're told. Well, the part when he said Sir Tottenham had is the controller of the railway, I find that true. But... I don't want to do the jobs that I don't like, that I don't like all the time, 24-7. Spencer wanted to pull coaches really bad. Then, an idea flew into his funnel. Hmm. He looked at Annie and Clarabelle. And smiled a little. If I take Annie and Clarabelle out for a little stroll, I can have a little practice of pulling coaches again. I won't just borrow them, I'll steal them. And I'll bring them back before Thomas even knows I took and steal them. That will make Sir Tom Hank give me my own coaches. Or the Duke and Duchess will give me my own coaches. Hopefully. But Spencer knew that stealing was against the law. And he knew how important Annie and Clarabelle mean to Thomas. And he didn't know that Stanley had overheard what he said while shunting some trucks in the yard. So since Annie and Clarabelle were still asleep, very slowly, carefully, and quietly, Spencer buffered up to Annie and Clarabelle. And he was coupled up to them. And without blowing his whistle, Spencer slowly pulled Annie and Clarabelle out of the yard. Spencer thought no one had seen him take Annie and Clarabelle out of the siding, but he was wrong. Stanley just saw and heard everything he said and did. Oh dear, Thomas is not going to like this. I better tell him when he gets back to the yards. Spencer raced through the countryside. He was racing. He was busy racing along. Annie and Clarabelle didn't even wake up. They were deep asleep. Spencer skimmed up and down Gordon's Hill. And when he puffed along on the upper track, he didn't see Thomas puffing by on the lower track. And Thomas didn't know that Spencer was pulling Annie and Clarabelle. 
because he was focused on taking the stone cars to the docks. Spencer didn't see him. Spencer thought this was easy, so he started speeding up. He started going faster and faster and faster. But Spencer forgot that it was now fall and leaves have fallen onto the track and all engines know and Sir Tom Hatt had warned all the engines to be careful because leaves on the track can make them slippery. Spencer's wheels slipped on the leaves. <laughs> Whoa, blistering boilers. <coughs> then suddenly, Spencer slipped on three leaves on the track. <coughs> and he also hit a big bump in the track. The big bump woke Annie and Clarabelle up. Woo! Woo! Annie, where are we? I don't know, Clarabelle. But Annie and Clarabelle looked in front of them, and they saw Spencer was pulling them. And Spencer didn't know that they just woke up. What? Spencer! He stole us! Oh no! Spencer! Stop! But Annie and Clarabelle's voices were carried away by the wind. And Spencer didn't hear them. He was too busy boasting of how proud he was of pulling Annie and Clarabelle. Annie and Clarabelle wanted Thomas. Oh, Thomas! Meanwhile, Thomas just delivered his freight cars of stone to the docks. And he puffed back to Knapford Yards to collect Annie and Clarabelle for his passenger train. But when Thomas arrived at Nafford Yards, he looked in the siding and was surprised to see, huh? Annie and Clarabelle were gone. What? Bust my buffers. Where did Annie and Clarabelle go? Thomas looked around. Annie and Clarabelle were in the yards. I can't pull... I can't do my passenger train without Annie and Clarabelle. And there aren't any origin, ordinary coaches available. In fact, Molly had already... Taking the ordinary coaches. How am I going to pull my passenger train without coaches? I better tell Sir Totten Hat. Oh, cinders and ashes.
on the platform. Sir Totten Hat looked at his watch. Hmm, I wonder what's taking Thomas so long. Just then, Thomas popped in. Hey, sir, I know you're... You're probably cross with me, but Annie and Clarabelle aren't in the yards. What do you mean they're not in the yards? Well, sir, when I came back after delivering those stone cars to the docks, Annie and Clarabelle weren't in the siding where I left them. Someone must have taken them. Hmm. That's very strange. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Thomas. Don't worry. I'll find out who took Annie and Clarabelle, and they will be punished. Just then, Stanley puffed in. Thomas, I know who stole Annie and Clarabelle. And he didn't just steal them. He took them. Who took them, Stanley? Spencer. I overheard the whole thing. Spencer said that he was sick and tired of shunting and pulling goods trains, sir. And, sir. and Thomas told him what you always tell us, that really useful engines do the jobs that you don't like and do as they're told. But he didn't listen to Thomas, and he decided to steal and take Annie and Clarabelle out for a stroll before Thomas got back. Well, why didn't you come and tell me, Stanley? You should have came to me first. Sorry, sir, but I wanted to tell Thomas when he got back. And I knew Thomas wouldn't be out long. And Spencer didn't know that. I'm sorry, sir. That's okay, Spencer. Stanley, just just remember to tell me next time. So Spencer took Annie and Clarabelle? Don't worry, Thomas. We'll get Annie and Clarabelle back. Did you see did you see which way Spencer went, Stanley? Yes, he went on the main line. Come on, Thomas. Let's go save Annie and Clarabelle. Spencer knows it's against the law to steal. And he knows that Annie and Clarabelle don't belong to him. Right, sir. So Sir Totten Hat climbed on board Thomas. And Thomas puffed away to find Spencer to get Annie and Clarabelle back. Meanwhile, Spencer was having the time of his life. Since he was a streamline engine, he started going faster and faster and faster. And he wasn't being careful or taking care. And Annie and Clarabelle weren't enjoying the time of their lives. They were terrified. Oh, Spencer, stop! I can't take this anymore! I want to go back to Napford! I want Thomas! Thomas would never go this fast! Then, Spencer heard a whistle he recognized. Uh-oh. It was Thomas! He had finally found Spencer. And he saw Annie and Clarabelle. Spencer knew he got caught. And he knew that he was going to get in big trouble with Sir Topham Hatt and the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. So... He went even faster to get away from Thomas. Help, Thomas! Help! Hang on, Annie and Clarabelle. I'm coming. 
Faster, Thomas! Faster! I can't speed up, sir. I have to mind my speed. There are leaves on the track. Oh, right. Thank you for reminding me to be safe, Thomas. Thomas puffed his hardest. He had to stop Spencer. Spencer really didn't want to get in trouble by Sir Totten Hat. And Thomas. So he went extremely faster. But Thomas puffed his hardest. Still. I haven't seen this Spencer go this fast since the Great Railway Show. I don't think we'll ever catch up to him, Thomas. The only two ways that Spencer's going to stop, sir, is by running out of coal and water or have an accident. Look how fast he's going, and he's not taking care. And didn't you once, didn't you, or don't you always tell us engines to be careful with leaves on the track? And don't leaves always make the track slippery? Then Sir Totten Hat realized. Aw, yeah. Well done, Thomas. You're right. Spencer isn't slowing down. And he should be taken care. But he's not. He's going fast. And there are leaves on the track. And Sir Topham Hat was right. Spencer was going too fast. And if he didn't slow down, he would have an accident. And Spencer still didn't know how slippery the tracks were because of the leaves. And he didn't know that Annie's coupling came loose. Annie and Clarabelle came to a slow stop. They were happy. It was over. But Spencer didn't know, and he kept racing along the line. Thomas stopped beside Annie and Clarabelle. He was happy they were both safe. Oh, Thomas, they were worried we'd never stop. Well, you guys stopped, but I don't think Spencer will stop. And Thomas was right. Spencer was still enjoying himself. When he looked behind him, he was surprised to see that Annie and Clarabelle were gone. Fumbling, fenders, where'd they go? He tried to stop, but he was going so fast he couldn't. Then there was trouble. There were lots of leaves on the track, and it made the track very slippery. Spencer's wheel started to slip and slide. Whoa! He applied his brakes hard. Screech! He braked as hard as he could, but it was too late! Spencer came off the tracks. Fumbling fenders. Luckily, no one was hurt. At last, Thomas caught up to Spencer. And behind him was Annie and Clarabelle. He buffered up to them after they got uncoupled from Spencer. 
So Totten Hat stepped off Thomas and looked at Spencer. He was cross. Spencer, you have caused confusion and delay. Annie and Clarabelle are Thomas's coaches. They don't belong to you. Stealing is against the law, Spencer. And you know that. You shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. I am very disappointed in you, Spencer. And it's not just me you should apologize to. You need to apologize to Thomas for taking Annie and Clarabelle. They're his coaches. And you stole them and took them. Spencer knew Sir Topham Hatt was right. And he knew that he also had to apologize to Thomas for calling Annie and Clarabelle baby coaches. Thomas, I'm sorry for taking Annie and Clarabelle, and I'm sorry for calling them baby coaches. I forgive your apology, Spencer. Just don't take them again. Don't worry, I won't. Thank you for apologizing, Spencer. After you're repaired, you will shunt and pull freight cars. And Thomas is right. Really useful engines have to do the job they don't do. They don't want to do. And they do as they're told. You shouldn't have listened to Thomas. And not only were you taking care because the tracks were slippery... I want you to think about what it's like to be a really useful engine since you'll be stuck in your shed after coming back from the steamworks for three months. Three months, but sir, no but, Spencer, thank you. You will stay in your shed for three months. That's what the Duke and Duchess will say once I tell him. Spencer knew that he was in big trouble. He shouldn't have stole Annie and Clarabelle. Now he was in big trouble by Sir Topham Hatt. And Spencer? Uh, yes, sir? Remember, stealing is against the law... And you must promise not to steal again. E yes, sir. I'm sorry again, sir. Soon, Spencer was lifted back onto the tracks. And Henry and Edward took him to the steamworks. While Spencer was being fixed at the steamworks... He thought about what it's like to be a really useful engine. And Sir Topham Hatt had spoken. Stealing is against the law. And Spencer promised Sir Topham Hatt he would never, ever steal again.